In this video, I'm going to tell you how to create interactive WhatsApp templates with call to action buttons. So, in this competitive era, it is extremely important to stay in touch with your customers, especially giving that personalized touch. And now that the festival is here, so you can send these messages about the exciting offers that you have along with these buttons. These are known as call to action buttons. So you just have to click on that and it will redirect you to the website or towards the phone number. So basically it enhances the look of your message and also it is extremely easy. Now how can you create these yourself to understand that? Let me take you to my screen. In this video, we are going to see how to create an interactive WhatsApp message template along with some call for action buttons. So this is a WhatsApp message that I've just shared. It's Diwali time. So let's say that you wish to share the exclusive offers that you're offering for this Diwali along with the contact number and also the website. So how would you do that? Now I'm going to take you to Metaphor Developers page where I'm going to show you how to create a template. So first you will have to click on My Apps. Now here I have already created a lot of applications. You can create your own application by clicking on this create app tab. Now I'm going to click on my connect message app. So as soon as I'm here on the left hand side, you can see WhatsApp. Let's click on the drop down and here we can see getting started. Let's click on this. And now here in step two, you can see to create your own message template. Click here. Let's click on this. These are the various templates that I've already created. Now, how do we create a message template to understand that? Let's click on this create template tab. And now here, these are the various categories. So if you wish to send transactional messages like to send account updates, order updates, alerts, etc., then you have to select this one. If you wish to send a marketing message like to send promotional offers, product announcements to increase awareness and engagement, you have to select this. Or if you just wish to share one time passwords, then you have to select this one. Now this one that I'm going to send is a marketing message. So I'm going to select this and now the name of the message template. So let's say it is interactive WhatsApp buttons new. Now we have to select languages. So here I'm going to select English language and once done, let's click on continue. Now here you can see that uh, we have to select a header. Now here you have got options like if you wish to share a text or a media. Now I'm going to click on media and then I'm going to click on image. You have options for image, video, or document. Now the body, this is the most important part. So here we will include the message body and here I'm going to write, hey, and now what do I want that every time I'm sending this to a client or a customer, I wish to address the person with their name so that it is more personalized. And for this, I'm going to write a number within double curly braces. This basically shows that it is a variable, which means that with every message that can be changed as per the data received. So this is the message that I've written. Hey, and then there is a variable. Let's add a little sparkle to your life. The sparkling Diwali sale is live. Here there's an exclusive offer for you. Visit the link and then I have put another number within double curly braces to participate in our Diwali Dhamaka offer. So if you have a specific link to receive all the products which are on sale, you can put it here. Now save extra, share extra love, regards XYZ team. So I haven't put a variable here. Why? Because I know that this is going to be static. So anything which is dynamic, which will be changed as per the messages change. So you have to mm, write it within double curly braces. But this XYZ team is the name of your organization and team. So it is not going to change. It will be static. Now, as I come down here, you can see buttons. So I am going to look for call to action buttons. Let's click on this. And as I go down, so what is the type of action? So I want to give a phone number. And now here, let's say I wish to write as connect now. And uh, the country here is India. So you can change it according to your country. And this is the number. Okay. Now I want to add another button and this time it is website. So visit website. So here we can say let's shop together. Okay. And now again, of course, the link is going to be static. So I have written it as static here. It's not dynamic. And now here we have to provide the link. So it is okay. So once this is done now, so this is how it is going to look on your WhatsApp. So I'm going to now 
click on add sample why because once you have created the template it is a must that you are supposed to add a sample now here let's say it is user one so i have to provide the names and then here the website so it is www.xyz.com once done here we have to provide some image so let's click on this and this is the happy diwali image that i want to put so my message is going to look like something like this on whatsapp let's click on done so once done let's click on submit confirm now it is there remember that these message templates they take around a few minutes to a few hours to get approved by the system so please have the patience and wait for them now i'm going to take you to a workflow that i've just created here my option is that i have some data on my google sheets of all the clients and now i wish to send them diwali messages these offer messages okay the first thing that we are supposed to do is we have to put a schedule why because i want to send this message message only once which is on diwali day or one day prior to that at a particular time so you have to use this feature by pabli which is schedule so here i have made it once my workflow would run once on dhanteras at exactly 10 o'clock in the morning so here i have received the response so yeah this was scheduled once scheduled then we have google sheets and here i have the list so this is my client list the email address and the contact number so what do i want so here i wanted to connect pabli connect with google sheets and once done when i had received the response in advance format so this is how i had received it in the array format then we had chosen another feature by pabli which was iterator again here why did we choose this to map the information i need row wise data so i need the data of only one particular at a time so that it can be easily mapped that's why i have chosen this feature iterator and here i had received the response of only the first row there finally i had used whatsapp cloud api the action event was to send template message now here the template that i have selected is interactive whatsapp buttons now I have already created this. Once done, then we have to provide the recipient's mobile number. I'm going to map the data over here. So we go to iterator, and this is the mobile number. Remember that the mobile number has to be written along with the country code, but without the plus sign. Now here is an image URL. So if you'll go to your WooCommerce account, so I already have it. This image over here. I have just copied this to clipboard and then pasted it over here. and here is the address of the website which is of course static now as soon as i click on save and send test request here you can see that we have received the api response and if i take you back to my whatsapp account so this is the message that we have just received hey demo user 1 let's add a little sparkle to your life the sparkling diwali sale is live then we have given them the offer and here we have call to action buttons connect now where the moment you click you would be able to connect with the person on call and let's shop which means you will be redirected to their website so i hope that you are absolutely clear with how we have to create this template if in case you have any doubt then you can always write to us the workflow that we have just used as an example to share messages with your clients and customers you can find that in the video description you can use the same to process immediately to send messages if in case you have any other advice or suggestion you can always write to us not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using pabli connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pabli.com you can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com/connect to get all the details about the latest updates the integrations and applications you can visit our facebook group if in case you have found this video helpful then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com/connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.